Hello, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. It is finally time to start the Italian campaign. I've already have it uh, generated, so you didn't have to sit and watch that happen for half an hour or so. It's 1910. We've not designed the Navy yet, so that's what we're gonna do. We're playing on Legendary Difficulty with random AI behavior using the Dreadnought Improvement Project mod by Brother Munro. So let's just take a look at what the uh, what the other nations have. So likely opponents, at least for the early years of the campaign, that would be maybe France. They got four battleships, two battlecruisers, ten heavies, sixteen light cruisers, and nineteen DDs. Uh, Germany, maybe five battleships, five battlecruisers, 10 heavy cruisers, 15 lights, 21 DDs. Uh, America, I don't think they're gonna butt their heads in anytime soon. Neither will Japan or China. Mm, Britain, maybe? They don't actually only one battleship, one battlecruiser. That's not much of a navy. They've got a lot of um, a lot of DDs. Okay. Russia maybe three battleships, two battlecruisers, nine heavies, eighteen light cruisers. Austria-Hungary definitely uh, on my list of likely early game opponents. Four battlecruisers, no battleships. 5 heavy and 16 light cruisers, 10 DDs. Also not much of a navy. Spain, possibly also an early enemy. 2 battleships, 5 battle cruisers, 7 heavy, 14 light cruisers, and 9 DDs. And then there's me, with a GDP of 72 billion. Which is more than Spain, but less than any other nation. Britain leading the pack with 376 billion GDP annually. Alright. Mm. Finances. Let's first see what we can afford here. Maxing out my uh, transport capacity. That's 87 million. So it was like um, this, right? I have a monthly balance of 162 million. Now it's 118. Crew training. Not that expensive. Well, I don't have any ships, so I don't have any crew yet. So that uh, that makes sense. Tech budget. Boom. It's kind of expensive. Maxing out my shipyard size will also be important early on. I wonder if maybe it's a good idea to just drop my tech budget down to 80% just to start with until my GDP can uh, get up and go. And my transport capacity, I don't like reducing it, but you know, money is money. Leaves me with a monthly balance of 86.7 million. Now let's start. Uh, also, research. What are we getting? Because that can be important for what we're building. 18 months. We're getting Krupp 2. Big guns. Mark 2 14s. In 21 months. Mm, all right, yep. Yeah. And because this is Dreadnought Improvement Project, there are no such things as submarines or minefields. At least there shouldn't be. Now, uh, before I start designing the ships, what are the goals for the campaign? Well, early on, I do want to recreate the Roman Empire, which means controlling the entire coastline of um, the Mediterranean. 
and if possible also Spain, France and uh, Britain if possible mm, alright yeah we don't have a lot of colonies we got Eritrea Italian Somaliland and that's it alright alright mm. further on rules for my campaign I uh, kind of inspired by what Brother Munro did with his Italian campaign. He had what he called an artisan campaign, which meant he could only build one ship of each hull. I'm going to do that, but only for battleships. So if I got two different um, battleship hulls available, I can build one of each, and that's it for battleships. Uh, I'm not going to restrict myself when it comes to battle cruisers. Heavies, light cruisers, and so on. So I kind of want to focus on speed. Doesn't be doesn't mean I can't build battleships, but they will be very limited in number. Other than that, no priorities in tech. So that means if I'm behind in technology, I will actually be behind. Because normally you might be behind in technology, uh, just all the technologies combined together you might have less than the AI but you're gonna have more where it counts so you're rarely at an actual technological disadvantage but I might be and that might be exciting now let's start designing some ships uh, we got three battleship hulls available that means we can have three battleships in service Which ones, though? Uh, not that one. <laughs> Maybe this one? Maybe that one. They're kind of similar. Uh, Dreadnought 2 is just better. Vittoria. Let's max her out. 25,000 tons. Max optimal speed is 22.5. Uh, I think 23 might be doable. I'm gonna go standard quarters. Oh, these towers are uh, quite horrible. That's not very good tower spotting for a battleship. Not very good tower spotting for any kind of ship. Yeah, we're gonna try uh, building one at least. Also, in uh, in the latest version of uh, of the game 1.5 according to the patch notes you can actually um, refit enemy ships that you capture let's see is that gonna look okay yeah it looks okay so I might end up with more than more than the battleships I can build by taking um, ships as war operations. 20,000 kilometer range, uh, 17,000. That will do for, uh, you know, controlling the uh, Mediterranean. Can I move you back a little bit more? Is it possible to get super firing uh, turrets up front? On this thing. What do we have available? 13 Mark 3. These turrets are absolutely huge. I don't think it's possible to do uh, super firing up front. We can do one. And this is a kind of ship that it seems like it wants to do wing turrets. Like that's something it really wants to do. I don't. I don't like wing turrets. But I can do a uh, midship turret. Which, yeah, it stretches out the engine compartments, but yeah. This is not a very good hull to build on anyway, so I'm just happy I'm getting something. 
Yeah, we got turbines, that's the best we have. Auxiliary one. Unbalanced. Uh, electric. Corrupt one, barbat three. Citadel two. It's got increased AP, standard on the secondaries. Oh, this is both very, uh, none of this is very good. But it's 1910, so it kind of is what it is. Enhanced loading, electrical, coincidence 3. Let's go increase shells. What's going to even uh, worsen my flash fire channels? Is Cordite safer? No. Definitely not. 22% flash fire channels. Oof. TNT1 is the safest I have available. Pycric Acid, Dunite. Definitely not safe. We can pack on some armor though. Go 16 on the turret face. Deck penetration. We're not looking at a lot of deck penetration in uh, 1910. But we are potentially looking at a lot of belt penetration. We can go 2.5 on the main deck. We can go 3.5 on the turret tops. Uh, 16 on the conning tower. We only have one inner belt. Half an inch on the inner deck. <clears throat> so that leaves us with a bit of a four weight offset. Mark three seven inch guns. Can we fit those? Might have to reduce some of this armor if I am to fit that. Maybe go down on um, the inner belt. Yeah, it's a bit of a four weight offset. I know, I know. <coughs> Excuse me. Also, these have pretty bad arcs of fire. Their armor is again a little thick, but that'll do. Let's slap a couple of five inch guns up front here. Four weight offset, 0.9%. It's not really that bad. I'm. I don't really need to fuss over it, but I still am. Can I get this turret to be fully rotating? Yes, I can. These are forty-nine caliber. That is almost fifty. There's no reason for them not to be fifty caliber. You know? Okay, so we got the uh, the basic ship here, Vittoria. We're almost at her displacement limit. Is this one of those that has like an obscene amount of, uh, yeah, two inch casemate mounts? Not three inch. Uh, I don't really want the two inch casemate mounts. Almost at the weight limit. I could try and make it faster. That would just make it overweight. So, we're gonna save it as is. And I have two more uh, dreadnought hulls to build on. I'm not sure if I'm gonna not to begin with 
I don't think I can afford that many ships. Let's make you the poster child of this campaign. Now, battle cruisers. That's a decent one. 27,000 tons. It is heavier than the battleship. It's certainly going to be faster than the battleship. 28 knots. Not bad for uh, 1910. It's got better tower spotting than the battleship. Overall, it's a better ship. Funnels. What can we fit on this? Oh, this one is just better than the enhanced funnel. Alright. We go oil and turbines. That's 40% engine efficiency. If we go two of these here, and then find something shorter for uh, the main tower, just to make it look right. Like so. Can I move it? No. Alright. As for guns, what do we have available? Now I can actually do a uh, proper ABXY kind of layout, which is what I like. Are all of these turrets like really huge? Yeah, they are. Can move stuff about. And you may wonder what can that weird looking battleship do that this battlecruiser will not be capable of doing? And that is a good question. Maybe we're gonna have to not have as much armor. Maybe that will be this uh this ship's weakness. compared to the battleship at least. Increased AP standard capped capped. Yeah. Ballastite and TNT. Coincidence and advanced radio. Yeah, 2.5 on the turret tops. That's one inch less than the battleship. Can we do 14 on the main belt? Uh, yeah, barely. And 0.2 on the first inner deck. I think that's just what we have to uh, do. Two inch main deck. These are again 49s. Now they're 50s. A little bit more fore and aft belt would be uh, would be nice, I think. Should have some conning tower armor. Can I do a little bit more? Mm, not that much more. Do I dare go down in anti-drop protection? I think I do. Because this will be fast enough to just kite away from DDs. Like, ideally. Oh, and we're overweight. 
But I think these 5 inch guns have a lot of armor. They do. And we're overweight again. But I think that's okay. I think that's okay. We can, um... Turbines, semi-oil. I'm getting geared turbines in not the distant, uh, not the too distant future. So I will be able to uh, go faster once these are refit. So I think we're just gonna design them with that in mind. Secondary guns though, we can put some 4 inch guns here. At least a couple. We're 20 tons overweight. And these 4 inch guns don't even have armor. Let's drop an inch from uh, the 5 inch casemates. 4 inch 33. I put top armor on them yet? No. Ten percent longer, nine point two kilometer range. So they can now maybe hit some uh, hit some DDs or something. Yeah, I think that is our uh, battle cruiser. For now, I think that's gonna be the mainstay of my. Uh, my battle fleets, not so much the battleships, which was kind of the plan, but also uh, I just don't have access to very good uh, battleship hulls at this time. Semi armored cruiser, fast armored cruiser. Oh, it's got boxes on it. Ew. Armored cruiser 4. 10,500 tons. Experimental armored cruiser, what's this? Oof, no. 10,500. For that one. Max optimal speed. 21.5. 23 knots, but it's got the, uh, got the dumb boxes. 23.5. Maybe I can make that work? Maybe I can make this work. Large armored cruiser, only 19.5 knots, but this is um, it's a nicer hull to build on. Although I can't make it that big at the moment. Hmm. I think we're actually building on this. Maybe. Uh, let's see what kind of main towers it got. 3,450. Because I don't have radar yet, and I'm not going to have radar for a very long time. So I'm going to have to survive on my uh, my tower spotting. So that's 3,600. Yeah, none of these have very good tower spotting, do they? They don't. They don't. You had the 3,600. Yeah. It's gotta be you then. Regina. Mm, can we do an ABXY and just put secondary turrets here? I wonder. It's so slow. Vittoria has a top speed of 23 knots. I think the armored cruisers will also uh, have that kind of speed. Quote unquote speed. 
Oh, you don't even have any funnel placements available. I can put one here. That's kind of dreadful. 94.6%. I can induce those boilers and we're up to uh, 139%. Fine. Let's see, is it possible to put barbettes on this guy? Yes. It is possible. Main guns. Eleven inch. Like all of these have pretty poor range. The nine inch guns are gonna be Mark IV before any of the other ones. And the eleven inch guns are kinda decent just as they are. But they're also very big and heavy. Not doing the elevens. We're doing nines. But in that case, can we do uh, can we do side guns? Just not worry about the uh, secondaries. That's a lot of nine inch guns. Okay, let's build the rest of the ship, if possible. So far, the plan of having fast and sleek ships. Other than the battle cruisers, my ships are neither fast nor sleek. Yeah, increased AP. Did I remember to put uh, increased shells on the battle cruiser? Probably not. Might have to do that in a refit. Okay. Nine inch guns. You got 13 inches of turret armor. What kind of. Uh, let's see. No, we're looking at around. 105% armor quality in this in this era not 150 9.1 inches and that's at point blank range I think 9 inches is let's see there we go no longer overweight 1.5 on the turret tops Can we do nine on the main belt? Ooh. We slow it down to 22 knots. Might work. Can I then go to natural boilers and save some more weight? Let's see, natural, that's 14,000 uh, kilometer range, induced 16,000. It's not a big difference in range. Let's go with natural now and um, anti torp 2. And we're probably going to end up uh, refitting these in the future. I mean, yeah, we are going to end up refitting them. That's not really a question of if, but when. 37 caliber, can we make them 40s? There we go. 40 caliber. Give them a little bit more punch through uh, belt armor. I guess that's it. That's the proud ship Regina. 23 knots is possible. 
range and engine efficiency. Not good, but it works. What is the monthly cost of this ship? 4.3 million. Maintenance. 9.1. 8.4. So Vitoria is quite a bit cheaper than Perla. We're gonna do another heavy cruiser. Possibly, yeah. This one is nice, but it's just too slow. And I can't max out the size anyway. Once it reaches 14,000 tons, once I get that tech, now I can build a pretty punchy heavy cruiser on this. But for now... Can we do 23 knots on this boy? Pace. What sort of tower spotting do you have? Not very good. Oh yeah, it's one of these where uh, this hull is, uh, this tower is shorter <coughs> than the smaller ones. So we got triple funnel, 20.5 funnel capacity, takes up this much uh, space. If we do these compact funnels, 6.5 funnel capacity. Four of them take up the same space, give me more engine efficiency, more range. We can put a uh, decent barbette on this. Yeah, this is gonna be our 11 inch ship. All right, let's build the rest of you and then figure out if there's any weight left to uh, use on secondaries. Crop one, barbet, anti-torp two, probably. Yeah, we're running out of weight, but these 11 inch guns probably have a lot of armor that we can reduce. Increased AP, standard. Capped cap, uh, no, ballastite, TNT. What is your flash fire chance? Probably terrible, 16.4. Yeah, lots of armor. But these can actually pen some armor. Let's go 11 on the turret face. Uh, 10. One point five on the turret top. We're still overweight. If I pull these in just a little bit, it doesn't make a huge difference. Let's actually just say that no, we're not armoring against our own guns. We're armoring armoring against the guns of lighter ships. <clears throat> yeah, that's um, what we're doing. It's just not very good. I guess standard ammo doesn't save a lot of weight. It reduces the, uh, the flash fire chance though. If we just accept that, no, our turrets are not going to traverse quickly. Then, yeah, can I move this just up one pixel? Yeah. They're 48 caliber base. That's almost 50. I'm going to do one inch main deck, 0.8, fore and aft. I need some superstructure armor. I need some main belt. Seven inch is not thick. Now there is 1.5 fore and aft belts, but 
I don't want this to sink either. We can reduce the range. 14,000 kilometers is not great, but it is uh, it is something. Secondary guns. These 4-inch guns are kind of cute. So we're just going to go with those. The 5-inch guns are just much bigger and heavier. Can they be placed up here? No. Maybe the 3-inch guns can? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Reducing the range gave me some, uh, some displacement to use for armor. Gonna put some more on the fore and aft belts. These four inch guns are 31 caliber. Not really a lot of range. There we go. Now I can give them some armor. One inch. Let's do. Can I do two inch? 1.6. 4.2 inch guns. Thirty one caliber is some parts are badly placed. Fine. Thirty two caliber. It's not great. Eleven inch guns, can I make you fifties? Almost. 13 tons overweight. Guess we're just gonna have to live with them not being 50 caliber. Yeah, we can live with that. Pace. Pace out. It ain't great, but it's, uh. It's an armored cruiser with six 11 inch guns. It should be able to punch some holes in uh, something. Now, with that out of the way, light cruisers. Oof, I don't like that hull. I don't like this hull. Uh, I can maybe work with that hull. Yeah, we're gonna have to work with this one. Advanced tower. It's not very really advanced. Guisano. Let's see, semi oil and turbine engine. Big funnel plus rangefinder. 2.5 aiming speed. One point five aiming speed, yeah. We're gonna have one of these. I think it's gonna be one of these. Just so it's the same height. Can I just do more of these? Reach my engine efficiency, no. Six point five, seven point five. Yeah, we're doing a funnel farm. It's a 1910 light cruiser. Uh, many of them had lots of funnels, so it's not that bad. This can be quite fast, though. Maybe not 30 knots. Maybe 29.5. It's gonna need more funnels, or I can just induce the boilers. That also works. Main guns, what do we got? 738, 641. Not a big difference in uh, range and rate of fire. I'm just gonna go with the sevens. Uh, 
There's a limit to how many guns I can put on this anyway. Like, do you fit anywhere? Fit here. You fit here also. You know, the bridge crew is going to have a hard time seeing anything, but that's that's alright. Secondary guns, 3 inch guns. Some parts are badly placed. I think you're lying to me. Alright. Let's try and build the rest of the ship. There's a light cruiser that doesn't have the range to do light cruiser things. Maybe if we max it out, 15,000 kilometers, still not that great. Can we just make it a tad bit faster? No. That took a lot of weight. Corrupt 1. Mm, Barbet 3. Uh, still not overweight. Let's see. Um, electrical. Coincidence. Hydro. <clears throat> An advanced radio. What can we do for armor? We got f almost 400 tons to work with. Which is not much. Might actually have to reduce the bulkheads. And I'd hoped I would be able to fit some torpedoes in this also. What kind of torpedoes do I even get? 19 inch. 5.3 kilometer range. That's not really good enough to be useful. Because I would have to close into almost suicide range. Speaking of closing in, I would like these guns to be 40 caliber. So they have a little bit more range. So if I'm firing at targets at 13 kilometers, they might not be able to hit me back. That's my uh, that's my plan for using these in engagements. Just hope that they can't hit me back. 3.1 inch main belt is the thickest possible. Fine, we're going uh, not that thick on the uh, four and a half belts. A little bit of inner belt. A little bit of inner deck. And there we go. Not that well armored. 14 tons for a 19 inch torpedo tube. Can we still fit one? One on the back here. How much would it weigh if I were to populate all these uh, 267 tons of torpedoes? Flash fire chance is 7%. Hmm, I'm tempted to try and make this work with the torpedoes. Maybe drop that one, 200 tons overweight. And then also, yeah, I can drop the range down to 14,000 uh, kilometers. Maybe having one on the bow is uh, more useful than on the back. So they can launch while moving in. It's not great. 
but I guess it works. Possibly. Yeah. Now, DDs. Gonna need some of those. Destroyer 1. Max optimal speed, 34 knots. Can we push this to 35? <laughs> Already the game says no. But if we give it a turbine engine... Uh, 34 knots seems to be the maximum. If I max you out to 1200, if I make you skinny... Yeah, early game DD uh, tower spotting. And the rear tower, which we need. 7.5, 6.5, 5.5. The enhanced funnel is. looks like it's a lot smaller, yeah. We can do one of each. Ultra enhanced funnel. It's so ultra, it's got. 0.3 more funnel capacity than the regular big funnel. That kind of works. Main guns, what do we got? 5 inch 38, 4 inch 31. Accuracy at 5000, 2.5, 1.7. Are we going to use the uh, the 5 inch? Thinking we might. Can we barbette this? Yes. We are barbetting the things. Now, torpedo launchers. It is a DD, it should have torpedoes. It must have torpedoes. Oh, it almost worked. Is it possible to fit one of these uh, funny little boys here? Maybe if I... If I go induced boilers. I remove the huge funnel. Go for one more of these. Now, ship is overweight. Yeah, I didn't like the induced funnels. I didn't like this huge barbette, 45 tons either. Let's go with a small 5.5 ton. Can we make you even slimmer? So the engine doesn't have to do as much work. That's going to make it a worse firing platform for these 5-inch guns. I think we're going to have to induce the funnels anyway. 14,000 kilometer range is not great. It's not exactly epic. 12,000 is also not exactly epic. I think we're going to have problems um, making this work. Yeah, drop that barbette. Just stick the gun on deck. We're saving weight where we can save weight here. Stage E. Nose fuse semi ballistic. 
That works. Ballastite and TNT. Also works. 1131 with electrical. 1136. Electro hydro. Enhanced reloading. These should be 19 inch boom overweight. And we still haven't done this stuff yet. We're not that much overweight, though, all things considered. So we might make this work. Uh, two on the main deck. Two on the aft deck. That kind of works. One on the turret sides, which is not much. If we go with light shells, we go with reduced ammo. Mm, 10 tons overweight, it's not that much. It's really not that much. Anti-flood 1. There we go. No longer overweight. But that has me thinking, what can I... Um, can save a little bit more weight like that. I can make these 40 caliber. There we go. Giving me 2.7% accuracy at 5,000 meters. Which I think we had before also, uh, but with rounding errors and such. So 12% at 2,500 meters. Base, it was 13%. Am I losing accuracy by making my uh, guns longer? 7,500, 0.8%. 55% at a thousand meters. 49% at a thousand meters. That's weird. Okay, we're gonna make them stock then. That's weird, and like not. If you have more um, more muzzle velocity. It is easier to hit because it, it's more forgiving when it comes to leading targets and uh, elevation and stuff. But yeah, that's how it goes. This DD is ready. It's not great. I don't think it's terrible. I think if I had geared turbines, I could make it faster without making it much heavier. But I don't. So that's what we have. What's your monthly uh, upkeep? 700,000. This cruiser, uh, light cruiser, is 2 million. The heavy cruiser is 2.7. This heavy cruiser is 4.4 .4 almost. Alright, let's build some ships. See what we can afford. Alright. Battleship. That's easy. I'm only allowing myself to build one. Let's see. Where are my ports? Which is going to be my main port here. Palermo, Messina, Toronto, Gaeta, and La Spezia. As La Spezia is a huge port. So La Spezia might be my uh, my main port.
let's build four of the battle cruisers because I'm kind of happy with that result, uh, that ship design. We're at thirty-four million monthly balance. We can do four of the Regina class heavy cruiser. Yeah. Seven million. Okay. We're about to break the bank. I want four of the uh, Duisano class. Light cruisers. Minus seven million. Okay. We broke. We broke. So we're going to reduce numbers a little bit. I'm going to go down to two battle cruisers. Two of these heavy cruisers, Regina class. And we're going to do two of the Pace class. And we're gonna do. Can we do eight of these DDs? Yeah. Three million in the green. Let's see. Vittoria. You're gonna go to La Spezia. And I think the battle cruisers are gonna go to Gaeta. There we go. Now these two heavy cruisers are gonna follow actually these also are gonna go through La Spezia with the battleship. The light cruisers two of them will go to Gaeta with the battle cruisers to be their escorts. And I want to have one. And can I build? I don't think I can. In my African uh, colonies. I cannot. So we're go just going to put them in Palermo. Now these DDs, oh, what are you doing, game? What what are you doing? Stop that! Jesus! There. These four DDs are going to go to also to La Spezia with the battleships while these four mm, oh these can be built in uh, Mogadishu and Eritrea okay we're gonna do two then in Mogadishu yeah cuz uh, those ports are not big enough for the light cruisers There we go. And Mogadishu. Yeah, they're uh, very small ports. Add crew is on. We're not going broke just yet. Mm. Let's see. I have a comparable uh, navy to a lot of nations. Oh, not quite. 
maybe kind of comparable to Britain. Well, not really. They've got a lot more DDs. Yeah, it's not really... Uh, mm. Well, it's on legendary difficulty. The AI has a lot more money, so shouldn't really expect anything different. Let's start the campaign. And see where we end up. There we go. 8 million in the green. What can we do with the uh, finances? I also have 118 in naval funds. So even if we go a little bit into the red, it's not a huge disaster. Shipbuilding capacity is actually 229 tons to start with, which is not terrible. But I'm still um, increasing my shipyard size because that will also increase the shipbuilding capacity. Economic growth is 4.8%. What kind of government do I even have? Constitutional monarchy, center party government. So I get a minus one to GDP growth. But naval budget is not too bad. Might get nationalist uh, party government next election though. I guess we're just gonna have to see. And I don't think we're gonna see any combat uh, this early in the campaign. Oil discovery in Iraq. Kiel Canal is open. Suez Canal is open. Bosporus Strait is open. Dardanelles Strait is open. Danish Strait, Odesund, Singapore, Gibraltar, and Brazil. It's allied with Russia. France is provoking me. Okay. Oh, the that's a new thing. I haven't seen that on the map before. Actually, shows you the canal and who controls it. That's useful. Now let's see what we're gonna do. Set these to limited. Suddenly, we get some more money. That can be spent on upgrading the uh, trade fleet, upping the uh, research budget. Yeah. A little bit in the red, not that much. But we can now actually get some technology in a reasonable amount of time. But you will see that in the next episode. I will probably play through a couple of months, perhaps years even, of peacetime with nothing happening, just off camera. And then I will bring you back when, uh, when things start to happen. Goodbye, and take care.